But as you're talking, I just had this picture and I was wondering if you could have a think about this. So you walk into a cafe, right? And your ex-husband sitting there. Do you turn around and walk out? Do you sit at the table with him? Or do you sit in the cafe, ignore him and enjoy your own thing? And the same for your ex-boyfriend. You walk into a cafe and your ex-boyfriend sitting there. Yeah. Do you turn yeah. around and walk out? Do you sit at the table with him? Or do you just sit in the cafe and ignore him? What a fun question. And like, there's so much, so much that is playing into that answer based on things that my ex-husband does. Um, if it was just, if, if it was just me and I yeah. didn't have to worry about their totally. response or what they wanted, I'd fucking sit and have coffee with both of them, especially oh, wow. my ex-husband. I'd be like, bro, tell me what the <laughs> fuck happened and where you lost your goddamn mind. Like, mm. tell me about like, let's talk about all of the shit that I found. And like, this is wild because I, that's how much I'm removed from it and do not care. Um, I, in in a feeling sense um and my ex-boyfriend and i every time we've been in a room together it's always been laughing and having a good time oh, um good. so I, I don't know how he would feel about seeing me after you know i i think when look i released this book i've never i've never confirmed who either of the men in it are um mm -hmm. And it was never about the men. They are characters that that propelled certain things forward. Um, but it's not about them. It's about self-love. It's about healing. It's about finding who you are and healing your shit. And I don't think that when he agreed to the first book, he understood or was prepared for the magnitude that it would cause and and how it would reach people. Um and, you know, I have crazy readers that do digging and find out who everybody is. Um, so that's happened. It, people have, some people have identified who those two yeah, males are. Yeah. And I'm sure that, you know, he's experienced some type. I can tell you from the conversation I had with him, I know he's experienced some type of something from people wow. um, that have found out. But that was never my intention. Um, and he knows that everything in the book is true and authentic. Like he read it. Um, so I think that. He might have a different different opinion on if we should sit down and have coffee, but I would be totally fine to sit down with either of them, even after all the shit that my ex-husband has pulled um, and the, the really scary stories that I have heard about him and who he's gone on to be as an individual. I'd still be like, I've, I've openly publicly invited him on my podcast. I've been like, look, if any of y'all want to ever come on and sit down and shoot the shit, like let's do it. We're all adults. Um, he would never in a million years, um, have the balls to, to make that happen though. <laughs>